Three-year-old Madeline McCann disappeared 16 years ago. Her case drew tons of international attention, rampant speculation, and the occasional false sighting. But one question remains, who killed Madeline? Is she even dead? Here's a timeline of what we reportedly know about the case. On May 3rd, 2007, Madeline's family was vacationing in Portugal. Her parents went for dinner, leaving Madeline and her two younger siblings behind in the room. They planned to rotate checking in on the children. When Madeline's mom, Kate McCann, went to check on the children, Madeline was gone. The family alerted local police who performed an overnight search. Days later, border police and airport workers were alerted to look out for her. On May 12th, 2007, Portuguese police released a statement that said they believe Madeline was abducted and that she's still alive and in the country. It was also Madeline's fourth birthday. Two weeks later, on May 26, local police released information regarding a man seen the night of Madeline's disappearance. They believe he might have been carrying a child. In June, police worried that forensic clues deemed vital to the case were destroyed. A police chief admitted that the scene wasn't properly protected. Over the next few months, police investigated reports that Madeline was spotted with a couple in Belgium. Blood was also found in the same resort apartment from which Madeline was missing. Still nothing. After the search for Madeline hit the 100-day mark, authorities considered the possibility that she was dead. On September 2007, Madeline's mom, Kate McCann, was officially named as a suspect in her daughter's disappearance, and her dad, Jerry McCann, as a potential witness. They were brought in for questioning but let go without charges. Fast forward to November. Jerry McCann said he believed his family was watched by a predator in the days leading up to his daughter's disappearance. The case went cold. In October 2013, Madeline's case was reopened in Portugal. Still nothing. Now it's June 2020. German investigators announced that they presume Madeline is dead and that a 40 three-year-old sex offender was a suspect in her homicide. Authorities said the man had a record of break-ins at hotels and dealing drugs in the region where Madeline's family was on vacation, according to the New York Times. The man was later identified as Christian Bruckner. Bruckner was serving a seven-year prison sentence in Germany at the time for a 2005 rape that occurred in the same region where McCann went missing two years later. He has denied any involvement in the McCann case. Again, the case went cold. Fast forward again to May of this year. Citing a recent tip, German authorities asked police in Portugal to search the Arade Reservoir for Madeline's remains, a site about 30 30 minutes from the resort of her original disappearance. According to CNN Portugal, the area was previously combed once before in 2008, but only turned up animal remains. According to the Daily Mail, police are currently trying to compare soil taken from the Arata Reservoir to dirt found in Bruckner's camper van.